Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Debbie, and if you are not subscribed, click that button down below and subscribe. So if you are one of my loyal subscribers, you guys can tell that I am in a different area. I am still currently in my bedroom. I'm just in a different corner of my bedroom. I wanted to find a better setup for myself just to, for better lighting and to be a little bit more organized and yeah. So the area I was in in my bedroom was a little bit more convenient at the time, but I'm just trying things out. So I don't know, maybe hopefully this works out a little bit better for me and yeah. So I am just gonna get started. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. All I know is that I'm just gonna probably play with the makeup and see what I come up with. So I grabbed a couple of products, I have them in front of me, and I'm just going to just start, I guess, right? So as you can see, I filled in my brows. Today I actually used my, what is this? The BH Pro, uh, what is this? The BH Cosmetics BH Studio Pro Ultimate brow palette. I absolutely love this. I don't know. I just felt like using this. I haven't used this in a while. I've been using my, what is it? My Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. Absolutely love that, you guys. I think I've mentioned that a couple times in my videos. And yeah, I went in with some concealer, cleaned up my brows a little bit, used it as an eyeshadow base. And I also applied a little bit of translucent powder on top just to set the eyelids and we could jump into shadow. So what I'm gonna do is go into one of my favorite Morphe palettes right here. This is the 39A palette. And I just like this palette so much because you have so much to choose from. Let me move over because I'm still trying to get used to this as well. So like I was saying, I absolutely love this palette because look at all these colors that it has to choose from. Like, I mean, you can't go wrong. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab a brush. I'm gonna grab, what brush? Um, this is a BH Cosmetics brush. It just comes in like, I don't know, I think an AP set kit or something. So I'm just gonna go in with this shade here. I'm not even gonna name the shades. I'm just gonna show you what shades they are. And I'm just going to apply that into, as the transition shade. That is usually my the first shade I go into for my looks because it's the perfect transition shade. That's why they made that one of the huge palettes because that is like the first shade to go. Well, one of the first shades because they have so many, you know? But for me, I think that one is canvas. I'm pretty sure the shade is called canvas and I'm 100% sure that that's what it's called. I'm gonna tell you right now. Even though I said I wasn't gonna say what the names of the shadows were, but I'm gonna say it anyway because I know that it's canvas. And it's canvas. I just know because I use it all the time. So I'm just using that. I'm gonna put a little bit more on the side because I feel like I add a little bit too much on the right. So I need to even out the left with the right, just like that. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with green. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with green, something a little different. So I'm gonna go in with this green shade with the same brush, you guys, the same brush. I feel itchy here. All right, so I'm just going to apply that right over canvas. Just like that, it's like a nice wash of green. I don't know what I'm doing. We're just having fun. So that's what we have so far. All right. All right, so now that I'm done with the green, I think I'm going to go in with a different brush. This time I'm gonna put this brush down. Um, I think I'm gonna go in with this brush. This is the uh, Morphe M433 brush. I wanna go in with some blue. So I'm gonna grab this blue here. All right. All right, so I'm going in with that blue and I'm tapping off as much as I can because I don't want the fallout on my face. So now I'm just going to grab that shade and apply it on the outer V. And I'm pretty much just stippling that shade on where I want it first. 
So I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of that blue from the palette and then apply that where I want it. And that's exactly how I like it. Now I'm going to apply some on the other side. You wanna make sure you stipple the shade exactly where you want it. I'm gonna go right back in with the blending brush. There's no additional product. It's just the last shade we use, which is the green, and I'm just blending everything out so it doesn't look so harsh and it looks nice and blended. All right, so now I'm going to grab this pretty shimmery green from the palette, and I'm just going to grab a flat shader brush. This is also from BH Cosmetics, and I'm just going to apply that in the center of the eyelid, just like that. If you want, you can also spray the brush just to intensify the shade a little bit, and I think I'm gonna do just that. I'm gonna grab a little bit of my Mario Badescu spray, just spray the brush once or twice, and I'm just going to pick up more of that shade right there and there you go. It's a little bit more pigmented, as you can see. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the other side of the brush, I'm gonna spray it and go in with this shade right here. All right, so now that I wet the brush, I'm gonna go right into that pretty shade right there. And I'm going to apply that right next to that other green we laid down. All right, so now that I applied that shade, I'm gonna grab a different brush. This is the JH41 brush. And I'm also gonna spray this for the next shade. Ooh, that brush almost flew out of my hands. All right, so I'm going to grab this pretty shade here and apply that onto the inner corner. All right, so I'm gonna go back in with this brush that I started off with. I'm gonna grab my favorite transition shade transition shade <laughs> okay and I'm just going to blend all right so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go in with some eyeliner this is Jessie's girl eyeliner I believe this is in the shade black I don't really see it on here um, so it just says Jessie's girl liquid eyeliner so just gonna go in with this. All right, so now that I'm done with my eyeliner, I'm gonna grab these lashes from Salon Perfect. These are the 614 lashes right here. Hopefully you guys can see that. And I'm just going to apply these real quick. And once I'm done, I will be back and finish off with the face. All right guys, so I'm back. And as you can see, my lashes are on. And now we are going to move on to face primer. So for the first primer, I'm gonna go in with this one from Maybelline. This is the Hydrate and Smooth Primer. All right, so now for the next primer, I'm gonna go in with this one from Wet n Wild. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Cucumber 3-in-1 Primer Water. This is supposed to prep, set, and refresh. So I'm just going to spray this before I go in with some foundation. All 
All right, so I love the mist on this. Um, I would definitely go a little bit farther away than what I did because as you can see, I am kind of like wet. So now I'm gonna grab one of my favorite foundations. This is the L'Oreal Fresh Wear. Well, L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear 24 hour foundation. Mine is in the shade 460. And with that, I'm going to grab my damp Real Technique sponge. This is a brand new sponge, you guys. So I'm going to apply two pumps and start applying it all over the face. Now for concealer, I'm gonna grab my Rimmel Soft Matte Concealer in the shade Linen. All right, so now to blend everything out, I'm gonna grab my Real Technique sponge again and just blend everything out. All right, so now I'm gonna cream contour a little bit. I'm going to go in with this stick foundation. I love this from the first day I tried it. It is absolutely amazing. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation in the shade Almond. You guys, pick this up. I think it was like $5.99, and I'm not a big like foundation, uh, foundation stick kind of girl. Um, I just, I don't know, maybe I'll pick up the foundation and um, the stick foundation in my shade and try it out, but I wasn't really like wanting to try it. I was just like, all right, I definitely know that these work amazing as cream contours and it did. It's so good. Um, so I'm just going to apply that where I usually go in with contouring and everything. And it's not really contouring. It's more for me. It's more like bronzing. So... But either way, we slightly contour anyway. So I'm just gonna go in with it anyway. It's just gonna give me color. I'm gonna grab my favorite brush. And it blends out beautifully, you guys. Obviously, we're gonna have to do some work here because it is a little thick of a stick, but you know what? I don't care. It just, it's so creamy. It blends out so nicely. It doesn't feel heavy at all. So that's why I may try the foundation just because this works amazing as like a cream contour. Don't worry you guys, we are going to fix all of this. I'm gonna grab my um, Real Technique sponge and just go over all those areas. So it looks like it's blended into the skin and it doesn't look so harsh. You see that? How nice it's looking? It just looks so fresh. And it's so easy to blend, you guys. Look how beautiful that looks. Also the nose, all the areas. Do you see that? Like, how beautiful is that? It's so gorgeous. I'm gonna make sure we blend this down. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my RCMA powder. I have it in this little container here, and I'm grabbing my Real Technique setting brush. All right, so now to set the cream contour, I'm gonna go in with my Becca palette. This is the Chloe and Malika, but this one specifically is the Chloe one. Absolutely love this palette, you guys. If it's still out and you can get your hands on it, get it. I'm telling you, it is so, so good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab the bronzer, the bronzer right here, and I'm grabbing it with a e.l.f. brush. In case you were curious, this is the e.l.f. angled blush brush, right? This is the blush brush? Yes. So I'm just going to pat whatever's on the brush and then just go over the cream contour. It's such a pretty shade, you guys. Tell me not, because if 
you tell me no, you're lying because it is so pretty. I think it's so pretty. And it blends out so nicely. I'm also gonna grab the blush, this one right next to it. This one is called Fabulosity. And I'm just grabbing a blush brush and just applying that shade a little bit onto the cheeks. But it also gives you like somewhat of a like it's it's a blush but also like it has a blush topper so it's kind of like a highlighter as well it's it's kind of shimmer it is shimmery it's frosty right yeah I would say it's a little frosty but it's really pretty it looks super fresh I don't know if you could see that look at that without a highlighter because it has like a highlight in the in the um, inside the blush Basically, it just looks so good. Look at that, looks beautiful. Absolutely love it. Um, if you wanna be extra, be extra. I'm gonna grab my Morphe M510 brush and I'm gonna grab some of that highlight. This one right here, this one is called Glow Up. So gorgeous, you guys, it's so, so pretty. I love this palette, like I really do love it. So I'm just going to apply. right there on top of that look at that it's just like whoa so I'm on the cupid's bow tip of the nose I'm also going to apply a little bit on the brow bone just like that nothing crazy I'm actually gonna go right back in with the RCMA powder and that setting brush and I'm just going to clean up a little bit right here I'm gonna do a little bit of reverse contouring. And a little baking, how about that? We'll do that. A little bit on the bridge of the nose. And we'll just leave that for a couple minutes. All right, so while we let that sit for a little bit, I'm gonna go in with this green from the palette right here. And I'm grabbing a Morphe M507 brush. And I'm just going to apply this shade on the lower lash line. I'm also gonna grab this shimmery green teal shade here. And I'm grabbing a pencil brush. And I'm going to apply the rest on the lower lash line. And I'm mainly focusing it in the center of the lower lash line. To finish off the eyes, I'm gonna grab some mascara. I always seem to forget that I have this pretty eyeliner from Maybelline. This is the Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil in Glossy Emerald. So I'm just going to apply that on the lash, on the waterline. And now I'm just gonna grab this large blush brush and just remove the RCMA powder. All right, so now for lipstick, I'm gonna go in with the lipstick that came with the lip liner. This one is called Back Talk, and it's a comfort matte lipstick. All 
All right, so now that I'm pretty much done with everything, I'm gonna set my face and I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Cucumber Spray. All right guys, so this is the final look right here. What do you guys think? I am getting spring vibes, like 100%. This teal blue green shade on the eyes is everything. This is like my favorite, favorite color, you guys my favorite color and my favorite eye look because I just love how vibrant it is. It's just so spring and I love the berry tone lip. I love a nice mauve berry tone because you guys know that my favorite lip liner is Sore. I use that lip liner nonstop. It is my fave and anything that is very close to the shade Sore, I'm gonna love. So this lip liner from Urban Decay and the lipstick set is absolutely amazing. It is beautiful. If you guys are curious, I got it at Nordstrom a couple months back, like maybe actually like last year sometime, and it's just so good. So that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.